I just thought that I will show you our new mommy with little babies there one day old and you know those ducks are just like babies has to just go and you know don't be nobody will take them from you no And there are chickens. Where is... What are you doing? This one is... Where are my roasters? We have those, um, you know, Japanese silky roasters they are quite small but Whoop. so this is the roasters that sings <laughs> when i pour you know and another chicken see they have a lot of space and daddy for and our greenhouse back to babies where are they here they are yes mommy they are enjoying themselves and the sun, you see. So just thought that I will show you. Yes, you are a good mommy. Okay, and now to my studio. Hello from Slovenia again. Today I taped uh, my paper napkin uh, on the plastic here on the table. I have plastic underneath, plastic bag, and then I taped my um, paper napkin that I use for reverse flower dips. We'll just try to bring you a little closer here that you will see what I'm doing okay and I will just use some paints that I have left from video that I did for do's and don't challenge with Kathleen from Cos Creations premiere will be this Saturday 2 p.m. will be my premiere so I will just use those colors and I mark where I have to put my base and I'm using just this little 8 by 8 inch canvas just to see if this will even work um, normally you know I do reverse flower dips and I put my paper napkin on top but I just wanted to see what will happen if I <clears throat> have my napkin on the table and do a dip on because uh, these napkins when they they are wet they are a little you know more flexible or how can I say I just hope that it will not tear apart but um, when I do reverse dips I don't have that problem so hopefully I will not have it this time neither and maybe I will even be able to do something with the napkin afterwards I don't know I will see this is the first time but you know me I love to experiment 
So I can already see that this middle can be a problem. You see, because it starts to be more loose. Because uh, when you do this on plastic, you know, it's not... Um, paint will not suck into your plastic and it will just stay on top, but here... And you can see that it starts... So I hope that when I will lift it, I will get a little different design, because it will, you know, uh, release... I hope! I don't know! Let's start! So I will use this um, Extreme Sheen uh, bronze and I will just pour in kind of a spiral shape. Circle, it's more circle. Okay, now I have um, hmm, burnt sienna, so it will be some browns because you will find out why on Saturday. And I have pearl white. course for some lacing hopefully. I hope that I will get lacing from the uh, bronze. I will add a little black there. And I can already feel that it's not so much paint on there because you know it's uh, Let's see what will happen. It's a lot of paint in the middle, but... And this one is... Um, um, <laughs> Amsterdam greenish blue. I, I'm thinking what will happen so bad that I forget almost what I have to talk about. So, let's see. Let's put this down. And I will do my sides later, you know, and I already... So I will just press a little bit. Whoop! I didn't mean to do that. And now I will lift it straight up release a little bit. It's not so much suction. Totally different, you see? Totally different. Not that it's bad or something, but totally different than I'm used to. So I will just add some black on the sides, just to cover them. And in the meantime, uh, this pearl white and bronze will start doing their job, I hope. Get some lacing out. But I was expecting something different, but that's why the experiments are to see what will happen. And I wonder what will happen with the paint on the napkin. And if I will be able to do something with uh, with that, so let me do this because you will see more 
from this side then the other one let's put this aside because this is gorgeous what is in in there so hopefully I will be able to do something with this because it's really really beautiful so here is a close-up this is the one that it's on the canvas I love it, love the colors, love those uh, details and cells and everything but this one on the napkin it's even prettier for my taste, you see that? just gorgeous isn't it? I'm really curious what will happen with this napkin if I will be able to use it for something and I love those colors together I have to say amazing details you see that love that so <laughs> Let me see what will happen with that and see you on the next one. Oh, don't forget on our Saturday premiere. See you then. Bye.